What's going on, guys and gals? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on, everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, if you follow the channel, you know a while back, I came up with this crazy idea for an acoustic guitar, and I started working on prototypes. Yeah, I made quite a few of them. I made one for Jeremy the Guitar Hunter, made one for Justin Johnson, made one for Brad the Guitologist, made one for Richard Leitner, Eddie Brown, the list goes on. And in the real early stages, a couple guys bought the guitars from me, knowing they were in the early stages. Yeah, Richard Leitner's one of them. He said, I don't care. You're gonna learn how to make it, I'm gonna get one of the first ones. Win-win. And he was absolutely right, because making all these guitars has taught me a bunch of things about acoustic guitar. Yeah, and me being mostly an acoustic guitar player my entire life, there's two things I've always wanted the most in an acoustic guitar. Yeah, the number one thing I've always wished on the acoustic is that it played more like an electric. And the number two thing is, is that it sounded like it does plugged in the same way it does unplugged. And I ain't never heard that one. I've never heard an acoustic guitar that sounds killer unplugged sound as good plugged in. I don't care who's running the board. I just ain't never heard it. Now hang on just a dang minute. Sean, you're tripping. Man, I've heard acoustic guitars through PA system that sounded monster. Bro, look, I didn't say that. I've done it myself. I've heard my acoustic guitar sound killer through the PA, but I've never been able to get it to sound exactly like it does unplugged. And I don't know if my little guitar is going to be like that. I have no idea, but I sure am hoping because I've put a lot of thought and a lot of work into this. So let me show you this. And what this is, is one really beat up box from Vietnam. Dude, it's got a crack all the way across it. I hope that's not a bad thing. Looks like it got some water damage. Man, he had a rough voyage. Tape's all scrunched up where somebody drug it and the tape caught on something. Yeah, the old box is pretty banged up. But, you know, that's FedEx, what can you do? Yeah, and that don't make no sense that FedEx, UPS, all those shipping companies, destroy your stuff. Why? This is a call out to all you guys. Why? Answer me in the comments. If you've worked there before, tell me why. Tell me why my box looks like that every single time. All right, my little rant about the box, this is over. Let's crack this bad boy open. Just a little tape there. This don't even need it, look. It's already done. Man, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Ah, <laughs> look, the guy that runs the place over there watches our YouTube channel. Look what he did. He sent me the strap buttons <laughs> off the guitar. <laughs> Guys, what do we got in here? Holy cow. All right, you know what it is. Headstock first. Ooh. <laughs> My favorite headstock. Now, it does have a six-degree angle on it. All right, let's see what we got, boys and girls. Oh, dude. Now, I know that already they put electric guitar strings on it. I didn't want the acoustic guitar strings on it in the shipping. Kathy, will you do the honors with the tape? Sure will. You'd like to use a little razor blade, huh? Wow. Yeah, it looks a lot better in person for sure. Holy cow. Dude. <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm already loving it. These are Korean made tuners right here. They're made in the same factory growers are. Beautiful mahogany. Look at that. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that cutaway for sure. Remember I said I wanted a guitar that plays like an electric? Wow, dude. Just look at that mahogany. Nice. Yep, standard 9 volt. 
Now most acoustic guitars have some piezo up underneath the bridge. Well my guitar has a piezo on each one of those saddles. So each string gets its own piezo. Now, I don't know what you're looking at, but I'm looking at four years of hard work and design to get that laying on the table there. And this ain't even the final on it. I still got two small little changes that are going to be made that are going to smooth it out a little. I'll show you what they are as the video goes on. Now, I'm pretty sure a bunch of you done skipped me playing this thing, but don't forget, it's got electric guitar strings on it right now. But we're still going to get off that table and play it unplugged a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the name of this guitar, didn't I? <laughs> this is the Scarred Aneurysm. Because I'm pretty certain somebody's going to have one looking at this thing. <laughs> yep, so we're going to call it the Scarred Aneurysm. But, let's hear it. It's got electric guitar strings. <laughs> so easy. Alright, let's turn it up with the electric guitar strings on it. Yep, I'm digging it already, but I'm going to tell you this right now. I bet you it's going to sound a lot better once we get some good strings on it. Yeah, I'm thinking that guy's probably going to sound better with some better strings on it. It also has some fret buzz that I'm not happy with. There's a couple things on there probably need a little adjusting. It's not going to adjust itself. You already know that. So that's enough flip-flapping. Let's make it happen. Yeah, the electric guitar strings are cool, but they don't belong on here. But you ain't got to watch me take them off. Let's take the truss rod cover off here. Now if you notice this cover isn't even beveled. It's not done anything to it. It doesn't have the name in it. Because this one's mine. But this is nice and clean, huh? Look at that. Not too bad of fret work. We're going to clean all that up. But let's check see if the next level. Now the scale on this is 25.5. And our neck is nice and level. Let's check the frets. Yeah, let's see if they're flat. Because it was buzzing some. But not around here. It was down here. There's something there. A little something. And there. Oh yeah. Good clacking there. Oh yeah. So it needs fret work. Let's do it. Now some of these frets are coming out over the binding a little bit. But I know how to fix that. The bevel is not complete. I'm also going to round that binding over a little bit. That's what we want right there. guitar. My hands will never be up here, so I'm not even going to worry about it up there.
I'll get them crowned up real quick. You guys don't have to suffer this, though. Good job polishing them frets, Kathy. Thank you. I appreciate it. But, uh, you forgot this stuff here. What's going on here with you slacking here? You're slacking a little bit there, kid. But still good job. I can't complain. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I bet you there's guys out there that wish they had a wife that would polish their frets. Even though you tape it, it still gets a bunch of junk on it, you know. So you gotta clean it up good. Yep, just the way it is. You might even have to do it twice. You never know. But this is a roasted Jatoba fretboard. Nice, huh? And Jatoba is just a Brazilian cherry. A little conditioner on it, you know? Now that's looking Jim Dandy. That's what we want right there. Nice. Now this guitar can handle some big strings because it plays like butter with those electric on it. So let's put some big, heavy acoustics on it. 53 to 13. Now to string the bridge, it's pretty easy. What we're going to do is, we're going to stick this through the hole in the back here. <laughs> and when it comes out here, I'm just going to put a little crimp in it with my thumb. You see the little crimp? So then I pull it back through the saddle. And it just comes right up through there. You see that? Really easy to string this thing. Not hard at all. All right, I got the scarred aneurysm. All set up and playing good. I got to tell you, I'm pretty proud of this one. Now look, if you want to buy one of these guitars, there's going to be a link in the description to eBay. Just know that we're only taking five pre-orders. They'll probably be here in about six weeks. If you buy one for pre-order, you're going to save yourself shipping and 50 bucks. So it's going to be around 150 bucks savings. Let's hear this thing. Now that's just camera audio. Let's turn it up. Now this is going straight into my doll. No effects, no nothing. Now this is bass. If I turn this down, it takes all the bass out. If I turn this down, it takes all the treble out. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, Trey was right. This plays just like an electric guitar. That was the goal. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of me and Kathy right now for sticking this out.
Yeah, it drops down to D, no problem. Now, I'm going to be playing this guitar in a live video tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern. That's Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern. It's every Saturday. But I'm going to be rocking that guitar tomorrow night. I'm going to be playing my Taylor right beside it. Probably a couple of other different guitars. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you want one of these guitars, just click that link to eBay. You're going to save yourself the shipping cost, and you're going to save yourself 50 bucks off pre-ordering the guitar. And we're going to swag everybody out that pre-orders. There's only five available to pre-order. Yeah, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, you know what I mean? But five sounds like a good round number. That's going to help me get some more guitars here before Christmas comes. And the guitars I'm talking about getting here before Christmas is another brand new model that you guys haven't even seen any of yet. Now, me and Kathy really appreciate you watching. I hope to see you in the live video tomorrow night or in the next video. There might be one up tomorrow. I don't know. But until I do see you again, don't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.